if you create videos for business and you're not adding captions, well, you're going to lose about 92% of your viewers. Your audience is just going to click away, watch something else, and that is going to hurt your business. So make sure you watch this video until the end because you're going to learn how to add captions for free using Canva. You can even create those trendy video captions that I'm seeing everywhere on Instagram. You'll get some easy design tips, which will help keep your audience watching. And I'm going to show you a brand new Canva feature, which has just been rolled out. At the current time, Canva does not have a specific feature which will help you add captions to videos. However, there's a very simple and straightforward workaround which anybody can do and it's free. So follow me over to my Canva homepage and we'll make a start. From the homepage, you'll want to select the template to use. Personally, I don't add captions to my YouTube videos in Canva. I prefer to do that within the YouTube studio for various reasons, but it's entirely up to you. So I'm going to go to social media and then select, let's have a look. I'm going to select the social media template, which is 1080 by 1080. I'm going to click on it to open up a blank template. Hang on a second. Shouldn't we be using a video template? You can now change any template into a video simply by clicking on this little button at the bottom that says duration. And now you can see at the bottom, I have a video timeline. Here is my play button and here is the video playhead right at the start. If you click on a template and you don't see that little duration button, what you'll need to do is add a page then click on that little upward arrow at the bottom of the screen and then you will see that little duration button. From here you can either go to the sidebar, go up to uploads and click on record yourself so that you can add a talking head to your template or you can upload a pre-recorded video using the upload files button. I've already done that so I'm going to click on the videos tab and then select my video. So let's have a look. I'm going to use this one here. So I'm going to click on it once to add it to my blank template. And now the video has been added to my video timeline. Now, hopefully you won't just leave the video on the template like that because it will look a little bit unprofessional. So what I like to do is go to the left hand side toolbar again, go to elements and scroll down until I find frames. I'm going to click on frames and I'm going to find a really attractive frame to put the video into. So scrolling down, I usually add my videos to an iMac frame or a laptop frame. So let me just click on the laptop to add it to my template. I'm just going to move it to one side for a second. And now I'm going to drag my video into the frame like that. I'm just going to reposition the video. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Rather than have a plain white background, I'm now going to add my own brand slide. So to do that, again, I'm going to go to the left hand side toolbar and click on Brand Hub. And here I've saved all my brand assets, such as brand templates, my logos, my brand colors, fonts, and so on. And if I scroll down, I can find my two brand graphics. So I'm going to add this graphic to the template by simply dragging it and dropping it into place. Looking good. While I'm there, actually, I might just add my verified expert logo at the top. Fabulous. The important thing to note here is that you're going to leave a little bit of space in, say, the lower third of your template because this is where your captions are going to go. If it helps, you can add some handy guides to your template. So go to the top left hand corner of the toolbar, click on file, select view settings, select add guides, and now add maybe a three by three grid. Select add guides. And now you can use these grid lines to help you position all your content. 
So I'm just going to move this frame up a little bit. OK, so this is my lower third and here I'm going to add my captions. Let's get rid of these guides now. To add your captions, you're going to start playing your video. So you can either click on this little play button at the centre of your frame if you've added it to a frame, or you can go down to the video editor and click on the play button here. Now play a small portion of the video. Make sure you can remember what you've said in the video, then stop the video when you come to a natural pause. And then add some text overlay. So again, using my brand hub, I'm going to select one of my brand fonts reposition the text box into the lower third, increase the size of the box and then start typing what I've just said. Before I start I'm just going to change the colour of the text so I can actually see it. Okay. Make sure your text is large enough for people to view so I'm just going to decrease the size to about 30 pixels and aim to include about two to three lines of text. Now the next step is very important. You're going to go down to your video timeline and find your playhead. You're now going to split the video at the playhead by clicking on control and your keypad if you're on a Mac and then select split page. So now you have two sections to your video. Play the next part of your video in exactly the same way as you did just now. Type your text and then split the video again at the playhead. Now repeat this process until you come to the end of your video. Once you've done that, you can make your captions stand out even more and make them truly eye-catching with some Canva text effects. Just by way of a quick design tip, do make sure that your captions stand out against the background of your video as much as possible. So make good use of contrast. So if the background of your video is white, make sure you use dark text. This will ensure that your viewers are able to read the captions quickly and easily, which is what you want. You can use a Canva text effect to help you. So select your text, go up to effects in the Canva toolbar and click on it. And on the left hand side, you have got some lovely text styles. You can add some text background by clicking on this thumbnail here. Change the color of the background by clicking on the color tab and selecting whichever color you'd like. So you could have a black background and change the text to white. Drag these buttons along the slider bars to adjust the roundness of your text box. So slide it to the left if you want a square text box and right over to the right hand side if you want a more rounded text box. Adjust the, the spread of the text box and the transparency. And now for one of my Nikki Ninja tips, rather than go through this process for every single section of your video, what you're going to do is use one of Canva's small but mighty features. So select the text again, go up to the toolbar and then click on what looks like a little roller brush and that is the copy style button. Select it and you'll see that it turns black and that's because it's all loaded up with text style. Go down to the video timeline and you'll see that the roller brush stays black. Select the next portion of your video and click on the next section of text. And that's done. All that text style has been copied and pasted in an instant. How's that for a time saving tip? Finally, add a seriously eye catching finishing touch by animating your text. Select the text, go up to the toolbar and click on animate. And on the left hand side, you have an entire menu of text animations that do different things and have different effects. My personal favorite is typewriter. To add text animation, just click on the little thumbnail. Choose whether you want the text animation to appear as the text enters, exits 
or both. I prefer on enter. And since I have Canva Pro, I can customize the text further by adjusting the speed of the animation by dragging the little button along the slider bar and also choosing whether to apply the animation to each individual character or to each word. And I think I'm going to select word. So you can see on the right hand side the effect it has on the text. If you don't have Canva Pro, just click on the link I'll leave in the description box underneath and you'll get instant access to a 45 day upgrade for free. All that's left to do now is download your beautiful template by clicking on share, selecting download, making sure the file type is MP4 video. You can change the quality of your video if you have Canva Pro, select the pages you want to download and then click on download. The next thing you want to do is check out this playlist. It's coming up right now and it has all my other Canva video and YouTube tips and tricks. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.